Oh, that's a great shot. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing a water change on the 75 gallon tank. I just got back from the fish store just now. I got 18 gallons of salt. We're going to go to the tank right now. Grab my siphon from... Somewhere over here. Yeah, it's in there. Siphon's in there. Grab the siphon, a five gallon bucket, and we're going to start siphoning out some water to do the water change. Here we go. Alright, we're here at the 75 gallon tank right now. I'm going to use my siphon. A five gallon bucket here, siphon. Thing is with the siphon, this blue part needs to be under the water so it needs to be completely submerged so if there's any air in it, you won't be able to get the water pumping to the other end and put into your bucket. So this part goes into the tank like so. Blue part's under, the rest there. And then I just, I use my shirt because I don't want to put my lips on this, it's kind of gross, but you just give it, a, you suck it and then put it into the bucket. Just like that. Now, siphoning out the water. I'm gonna do about a 20% water change on here. And I'm gonna do this, I'll probably fill this, do this, fill this bucket up three times, maybe, yeah, probably three times, and then <clears throat> go to the truck and get the salt water out. So the water level is dropping here into the bucket. I'm supposed to do water changes once a month. We waited probably about two weeks over, that's why the coral's like that, I think. So once we once we get the water to the level it should be, and the water change, I think he's gonna open back up again. But yeah, water changes should be once a month. With the salt tanks, when your water uh, drops, you don't buy salt water, you buy RO, because it's called reverse osmosis. What happens is when the water evaporates, the salt actually stays inside of the tank. So your salt, your salinity level goes through the roof. So then you buy RO, which is basically fresh water. And, oh, I gotta stop this. So to stop it, you just pull this right out, we'll shoot through, and there you have it. But yeah, as I was saying, so you buy RO, that way you don't just keep piling more salt and salt and salt, and then pretty soon all your fish are gonna be dead, so. But when you do a salt water, water change, you buy salt, if that makes any sense. So now I'm gonna take this full five gallon bucket, dump it down my drain, and we're gonna do it again. So that's where the water level is right now after one five gallon bucket. I'm gonna try to get it to right about here. It's whenever like the coil is about to be, the tip of it's about to be underwater, that's where I stop it. All right, so we're gonna repeat the same process here. This goes in, rest on that rock right there. Take this, oh buddy, buddy, buddy. Take this, let it rip. So we're gonna probably do this one or two more times, whatever it takes for the coil just to be barely in the water, but after that, we'll go down to the truck, start filling this tank back up. Fish don't really tend to mind it. They're probably a little skittish, but the shrimps really don't care. They're eating. Everyone's healthy. All right, so there's the water level after two. I think we'll do one more and it should be good. Alright guys, there's the level after the third bucket. The coral is about to be underwater so I'm going to stop there. Now I'm going to take this bucket out to my truck to the cooler to grab the fresh salt water. Here we go. Here's the salt water. Right there. Perfect. And one major tip I have for you guys, if you guys have a truck when you go to do a water change with salt, because obviously the water will come out of the the cracks of the lid in the um, on the ride home, make sure you guys wrench out the bed of your truck because salt water will corrode the living crap out of it. So rinse all under your truck, all in here, because it really can do some damage. All right, so I'm just gonna slide this thing to the edge. Oh, right there, take my bucket, put it right yonder, open this cap and hopefully it makes it right in there. Let's see. 
Oh, that's a great shot. Move, move it a little bit. There we go, I'll fill it like, cause I gotta go up the stairs, I'll fill it probably a little bit past halfway. Bring it up, dump it in the tank, come back, probably have to do this about six or seven times, so. You'll see. What a beautiful day. Beautiful. Hot as hell. All right, so that's where I'm going to stop it right there. So I just take this, shut it real quick. Ugh, there you go. It's about right there. Take this thing up the stairs. Here we go. We made it. Now I'm just gonna dump it in real slowly, probably on this edge right here, not on the rocks, but left open this lid, dump it right in there, do it six or seven more times. So there you have it, there's the first bucket. Made quite a bit of a mess, soaked this thing, great. Soaked the FSU chip clip, great. Soaked the freaking, whatever you want to call it, the countertop, and the side of the pond. Or the, I'm so used to saying pond, I'm a freaking idiot. The side of the tank. So, a lot of cleaning up to do. Highly recommend a, a towel here, so you can not make a mess. All right, we got the other bucket here. Go ahead, dump it in again. All right, now you guys are probably saying, Jack, uh, making the tank look like absolute crap. It's really mucky, but once I'm, it's because I'm uh, pouring in all the water onto that rock there, and there's a bunch of like, I don't know what you would call that, but like, little like, I don't know even what it is, but it's just building up on all the rocks, totally normal, but I'm just knocking it off. It's getting really cloudy, but in just probably about 20 minutes after this, it'll all settle and it'll be all crystal clear again. All right, guys, there we have it. We got all 18 gallons out of the cooler. The water change is complete. We are completely full of water. Now we'll just wait 20 more minutes, probably, because it's, it's a little cloudy. Wait about 20 minutes, all this will settle, and I'll give you guys a good look at what it looks like. Hey, okay, guys, here it is 20 minutes after. Back to perfectly crystal clear water. And that coral is starting to open up just a little bit more so I'm guessing by tonight it'll fully be open all right you guys it's been a couple hours since the water change and I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the fish everyone looks good and our grouper has gained so much size he was like he's so fast but he was like this big when we got him and the last time you guys saw him he's probably like this big but now he's definitely coming up on five inches and he's gotten a lot bigger. So we're gonna try and feed him right now. He's being a little skittish hiding behind that rock right there. I don't know if you guys can see him, but we're hopefully he's gonna come out for us and we'll get a cool uh, video of him eating. All right, here's a little brine shrimp that we get the fish active with. Um, the clown fish eat it, the two angel fish and the grouper will come out and pick off a few, but this is kind of how we get it. This is how we feed our fish and get the grouper uh, out and active. So hopefully he'll come out for us, but. See. He's kind of skittish during the day. You can tell the clownfish like him a lot. Did you see it? Mm -hmm. There he is. So you guys can see he's gotten a lot bigger. But I fed him yesterday, so he's not going to be too aggressive at all. But come here. Yes. He eats right off the top for us. Come on, buddy. Missed it, but. To go around and hit it. So yeah, he only eat, that's just some tilapia, what we feed all our fish and chum, the, the shrimps. The shrimps are out eating a little bit of the brine. They're really cool. I think one of them just molted. I don't know if the molt is still in the tank. But. He's gonna get that. Alright, 
that's gonna be it. All right, you guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you guys like these how-to videos, leave a comment down below and let us know. And also, we have a really cool collab lined up for this Sunday it is. So you guys probably won't see that video till the following Monday or that Monday. Sometime next week, you guys will see it. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, sometime in there. And also, you guys killed it on our last video. We had like almost a thousand views in 24 hours. Uh, so thank you so much for that. And we're almost at 2,000 subscribers. So just go down, hit the subscribe button. We're like almost 125 away, I think we're at right now. We're like 1,875. So we're 125 subscribers away. If we could get there in the next couple weeks, that'd be awesome. But thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.